Yes, ma'am. Atmosphere is all around us, but it is mostly invisible. Many planets and satellites have an atmosphere, but many are not composed as ours is. Earth's atmosphere is made up of mostly, of mostly oxygen, nitrogen, and argon. There are other trace elements in our atmosphere as well. There are also particulates like dust and pollen. If you lie on the ground near a window with sunlight streaming in, you can see particulates in the air. There are others you can't see in there as well. Particulates from one part of Earth can travel to another region. Dust in the Sahara Desert can be picked up and deposited on our land. Our atmosphere extends about 6,000 miles. Most of it is compressed in the first 16 miles. The further you journey from Earth's atmosphere, the less it pulls you in or weighs you down. As we travel away from the Earth, temperature is affected by atmosphere in complex ways. In the troposphere, the decrease in temperatures as we rise stops and temperatures stabilize for several miles. When you cross into the upper stratosphere, the temperature increases. In the mesosphere, the temperature starts to drop. Then, in the thermosphere, the temperature rises again. Finally, the exosphere layer starts to see temperatures plunge dramatically. So the layers of the atmosphere protect the world in different ways. Some radiate heat back to Earth, like the ozone layer, while others allow for cooling. 